Got a slight hiccup here. I went over that bridge. Somehow my trailer came off the ball. So I'm gonna get the razor off, then I should be able to connect it back up, but I gotta figure out, you know, what's going on with that. If it, why is it not latching? I have five more hours to drive to camp, and then I have another nine hours to drive home. So <sighs> figure it out, I guess. That only took me 10 minutes. I don't know how that came off. I don't know how I just drove four and a half hours at 75 miles an hour and I hit a bump at 55 and it made it do that. A little worried, but that wasn't too bad. So let's get on the camp. I made it to camp, it took me exactly nine hours to get here. It probably would have been a little quicker, but I had the one stop with the trailer falling off and then I was trying to find ethanol free gas and I ended up having to go to like three different gas stations for the Razor, not for my truck, of course. Now it's, you know, the four mile drive from where we park our vehicles to camp. So I'm about to get all my stuff out, put it in the Razor buckle it all down, and then start another journey. See you guys at camp. So for anybody that's seen my old deer camp videos, you guys already know that we have two groups of guys that come into deer camp. We have camp one, camp two. For the guys that don't, well, we have two camps. So when I get there, usually what I do is I go in by myself and then I keep the camp open. That way, you know, if the second camp is running late or something happens where they can't make it, I can close down the camp. As soon as I got into camp, I pull into camp. I'm greeting everybody. Everybody's talking, having a conversation. I'm not joking. It was probably 10 minutes and next thing you know, boom. So Carl, one of the guys from the first camp, he ended up shooting a deer within 10 minutes of me getting there. I hadn't, I haven't got my cameras out of my backpack yet. As you see, he pulls in his deer. When the first camp came in, somebody actually stopped down at the rails. They asked if I was there. So I'm sorry I wasn't there. Definitely leave some comments down below if you guys had some luck. So I definitely want to give a shout out to the tent camp down at Cable Lake. Thanks for stopping in and trying to say what's up. The first camp actually really got a kick out of you guys stopping and seeing if I was there. Maybe I'll see you guys next year. So camp one left, camp two gets in there, everything was fine, everybody made it okay. One of the guys in the first camp sits in this blind we call the China Hutch, and it's probably the most successful, in the last four or five years, it's definitely the most successful blind that we have. The guy in the morning, he needed four points on one side to shoot, and he couldn't tell if the buck that he saw had four points on one side. Knowing that, Steve went out and he decided to hunt. Eric Ryan and I went across the tracks to set up this blind in this area that we've been wanting to set up in a long time. It's really wide open, it's really nice, but we just never see tracks there. We never see any sign over there. And it's just, there's nothing to really bring the deer over there. So we've never set up a blind over there. Last year, on the last day, we walked over there and we saw there was a couple rubs and there's you know a good funnel where the deer can come through. And so we decided we're gonna bring up a stand. Ryan got a stand and we spent the first night basically just setting up the stand. First day. Found a good sign the end of last year. Natural apple tree in the UP of Michigan. Gotta be a big buck coming here. Huge 70 inch buck. 
70 inches. Hey. We're out here doing this grunt work. Steve's hunting. Looking for him to get a buck. We've got Ryan, Josh, Steve. The diehards. And Eric. Yeah, and me. Yeah, and me. Forgot me. This is a spot where there could be some bucks. Yeah, because you could bow hunt this. I don't know how the heck we're going to lift this up there. Yeah. Well, we can walk her up. Okay. All right. I'll walk her up. You stand on that thing. There we go. See? Roll all the way. All the way. Keep going. Keep going. So we got this stand we just put up. Ryan and Eric did most of the work. And I was cleaning house of brush and some limbs and stuff. I feel like it'll be actually less work. That's good. Yep. A lot of work for a tree stand. Might sit in. Yeah. Might see a deer in. But can't say we didn't try. What's up here? I never grabbed anything, sorry. some deer. 
I haven't seen anything. I think we had this logged like 10 years ago. Before we had it logged, the hunting wasn't very good. Them logging that close is going to be good because we'll bring deer to the area. And the first camp that was here said that... Oh, I can't see it. I can see it. My it's bothering me. It's in my eye. The first camp that hunts here, they were saying that they had seen more deer this year than they have in years past. I bet it's because they're getting kicked out of that area where the loggers are at right now. Because it's pretty close. They're pretty close. I've seen a lot of tracks, a lot of fresh tracks. I'm um, just walking around and stuff, but I haven't seen a deer yet, so we'll see. As the week progresses, I have uh, three days left, I think. Today, tomorrow, Thursday, and then we leave Friday around noonish. It's like 9.30, I think. I haven't heard any news from the other guys. Or whether they've seen any deer or not. I walked through like four spider webs on the way into the stand this morning. I didn't think spiders were out in the winter. Anyway, I'm gonna get quiet again because I want to see a deer. It's 11 o'clock. Um, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen birds really. I've, I've heard some birds, but I haven't seen anything. I thought I heard something walking through earlier, but. This brush here is so thick, you really can't see anything. There's a couple lanes cut open, but, you know, if they're walking at the bottom of this hill, they can walk all the way around. I never see them. I mean, the snow helps a little bit, but there's a lot of pine trees right here, and definitely can't see through those pine trees. I'm going to go back to camp real quick, figure out what I'm going to do this afternoon, warm up a little bit. It's not too cold. It's, it's like 30, but... Like, there's a dampness to the air, so it feels colder than it is. I guess that's it. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. Before I went back to the cabin, I wanted to go and check the shooting lanes to see if there was any fresh tracks or anything. I didn't see much for fresh tracks, but then I came across all these wolf tracks. And at first I thought it was just one lone wolf going through, but as I get into it, there's there's definitely a pack in here. There's tons and tons of tracks in this area. It looks like they were running down a deer, but it had to have been last night because the tracks are pretty fresh, but I don't know, it's hard to tell. Some of them look like they have a little snow in them, some don't, so it's within the last day though, because it snowed really hard yesterday afternoon. That sounded like Steve. I think Steve just shot. Anyway, I'm gonna get my backpack on and get my gun back in my hand. I'm gonna figure out if that was one of our guys. Right now we're just doing a bunch of errands and chopping wood and uh, we just had some chili and stuff. So I'm putting up my trail camera right now. I'm gonna put it on Eric's bait. And then I'm going to put another trail camera down at the other stand on the bait as well. So hopefully we can just see, you know, what's out here, what's what's in the area, whatnot, if anything's coming out. This is an old Moultrie uh, camera. It still works. I do have to fiddle with it every now and then, but it was one of the ones that I hooked up to the modem where it would send me images. But both my old modems went to crap. But the camera still works, so I use it. Like I said, it doesn't always work, but it does work. So hopefully we'll get some images. We can check it out. I got new batteries in it, new card, everything. We'll see if there's any deer up here, I guess. And this one is the same place that I had it last year when we, I got the bear and the wolf and stuff on here. I'm gonna use the stealth cam this year. Now this one is my Verizon one, but for some reason the cellular service has not worked on it. They told me to send it back, but they said it's gonna be four to six weeks. So right now I'm just gonna use it as a basic trail camera. Then like January 1st or whatever, I'll end up sending it back and uh, they'll send me a new one. That's what I'm working with right now, but I'll at least get some pictures even though they're not gonna get sent to my cell phone.
Eric and Steve just went out to their blinds. Eric's gonna sit in his blind, and then Steve's gonna sit in a china hutch. I am going to be going for a walk. I found a place on Onyx Maps um, across the railroad tracks that I want to hunt. So I'm gonna to try to get there today. I only got about three hours left of hunting light, but I just want to get over there and see it. We got two days left to hunt, and I want to try to do something different. Ryan is going to go down to a stand that we call the stump. He's going to hunt there, and I will actually kind of be walking behind him so I could actually kick something to him. But I'll try to update you the best I can. I'm going to keep my camera in my backpack, uh, at least for the beginning portions of the walk. And then after that, I'll try to get it out and get some footage. And if I see something sweet, I'll obviously take the time to get it out. That's what I'm doing. See you in the woods. I was going to the destination that I had planned, that I found on Onyx Maps, but I ran into somebody's footprints, so I decided to turn around and come back towards where I came in. And there's a big open logging road here, logging trail. So I'm sitting on that right now, and I'm at a bend. So at this bend, I can see about 200 yards. Looks like a... I don't remember seeing that before. I think I'm just seeing things. I can see 200 yards southeast of me, and I can see about 100 yards to the northwest of me. I'm in a really uncomfortable chair, but it's comfortable enough. I probably sit up against this tree for a little bit and just relax for a minute. Hopefully I can make something happen. A lot of tracks coming down this this open road here. I think the deer like it. Anyway, I'll let you know what's going on. I'm just gonna chill out and relax for a second. Hopefully I can see some deer. So we need one more uh, power Cabbage? Does it smell burnt? Something smells burnt. I'm gonna hit you. I'll probably put a window out. Are the windows closed? No, I'll probably hit the front window. <laughs> there it goes. There yeah. <laughs> Fair, Steve. Fair. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Oh, Jesus. What was that? Nothing. Really? I got a over here. Really? You've got no shoes on. <laughs> well, I know. That's what I'm saying. He's got no shoes on. It's better grip. Oh, what the hell is that? Good, that's good, it's good. Get the light up. I'm trying to get down for yeah. you. This is where you gotta aim. Don't the trees. Where you at? See where I'm at? Got oh. it. Oh, oh yeah, you got it. You got it. You made it. You made it, you made it though. I hit so many <laughs> back there. This is Josh with a... Oh, shit. God. Dang it, I missed it again. <laughs> Didn't even hit the building. No, 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 it's here. in the middle of the road. It's a little tree. Is it in there? Oh. In the of my the arms so here, bad. Dude. So I gotta explain. Then we have Jesse I don't know, it was like, what, three years ago? Three years ago. I said I could throw the jar over the the old cabin. Nobody believed me. I couldn't. <laughs> but we've been doing it ever since. I got it last year. This year I've totally failed again. So, just so you understand what we're doing. So that was it for part one of deer camp. I was planning on making just one long video but I mean we're already at like 19 20 minutes we're already with this first video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see part two maybe part three I don't know until I get into the editing you know please subscribe I do this every year and then as well I hunt throughout the year whether it's deer turkey and I do a lot of fishing as well so make sure you subscribe thanks for watching comment down below hit that like button subscribe I gotta go